bizarre sequence of games. Feels like a road trip. Even did you give yourself a per diem for that home game? It feels day? like a road trip. Go to Chicago, Dallas, go home for one, and then back all the way out to Boston. Yeah, it's interesting, but it is what it is. You know, short flight yesterday, good skate this morning. We're all set. Now looking back, how impressed were you with just the way you guys responded after maybe the emotion of the first two periods? It was a tough, uh, you know, you're losing two players off your team that were sitting in a team meeting almost to go into a game. So those are tough circumstances. But our guys competed hard. You know, we, we talked about playing hard for the guys that left. And, um, you know, the first you could tell there was a bit of a lull at the start, but we actually were doing some things well. Third period, we caught some energy and caught some breaks. And... Uh, you know, when I watched the game after, I was I was pleased the well how hard we played. So we got to carry that on. A guy like Jordan Martin, who can go back down the middle, right? He's been all over the place. Yeah, we. He told me the other day. He said he wants to play a game at D here before the end of the year, just to say he's had it done at all this year. So we've got some guys that move around like that. Him and Juris, and some guys that just compete hard all the time. So you know, we need those guys like that to make sure we're competitive. Is Bermistro available? He's available tonight, yeah. He went through practice this morning. He should be available tonight. What do you know about your newest player? Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I watched some tape on him. I think it was last year we had talked. His name had come up, and I watched him. He's a, a little guy who shoots the puck really well, a good power play guy. We'll, uh, you know, we'll get him in and integrated for a few days. He won't play tonight and uh, just see where he gets to. Shane, that's that uh, you addressed the team after, uh, after the Marty trade. Just you know, kind of in general, what do you say to the team after a situation like that? Well, it's a tough situation. Nobody likes to see teammates leave at the best of time and then good teammates that have been around for a long time. But it's a situation we're in, an organization we, we know we have to continue to build and grow. And when you have players on expiring contracts, those are just some of the things you have to deal with. And it doesn't make it any easier from a coaching standpoint or a teammate standpoint or a friend standpoint but it's just the reality is it's part of the business and we all have to accept it and move on and uh, you know we're in a we're in a business that you're you're paid for results and you got to make sure that you take care of the what you can control and sometimes things you might not like it but you can't control them so do what you can to control Is Mike up and ready? Mike's ready to get back at it yeah we'll see hopefully he jumps back in and give us a good game tonight was that maybe one of his better? Yeah, one of the better games in a while. Yeah, I made some good saves. They're critical saves at the right time, which is kind of one of the things that have been missing this year for him. So, played real well. Have you seen any changes in the team since they've changed their coach? Any differences? Or? Uh, you know, I, I got lots going on with my team. So, obviously, their record is pretty good. They're, you know, they've got a good team. Their their top players drag them along. I know Bruce, and he's a real good coach. I know Claude, he's a real good coach. So. I'm sure they're, uh, you know, sometimes just a change of, change of the voice or change of scenery like that spurs people, and I think that's what's happened there. With Richardson, along for the ride, or what do you think? He's along for the ride. He hasn't been on a road trip in a long time, so that's a good way to tell him. You tell him he's along for the ride. <laughs> but in terms of a timeline, is it No, he's still here? just, he's, he can integrate into practice now, so if he can practice with us, he can come on the road with us. We're here, so we're going to take a look at Clayton Keller tonight in the pregame show. What have you seen of him as you watch a little bit of him? He's a dynamic little player, you know. I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes. Hopefully, he has a good playoff. But he's from watching him, you know, last year before we drafted him to watching him in the uh, World Junior to, you know, seeing what he's doing this year. He's a dynamic little player. He's, he's one of those guys that it's. He's not your prototypical hockey player, but he's a player that can have a huge impact on the game and uh, going to be an interesting young guy to watch.